Hello guys, what is up and welcome to another episode of Kirby's Dreamland 2. Uh the let's play that I'm not entirely excited for in all honesty, but uh you know, uh I started it, I'm going to finish it. So this is episode 2 of Kirby's Dreamland 2. I guess. Uh, all these retro game uh, all these retro games, uh I do have a hidden talent for. I must say, so, yeah, hopefully you guys, uh, enjoy my talent in Kirby's Dream Land 2, I know, like, the Castlevania Let's Play, that did really good, because I was actually, like, surprisingly good at it, uh, and I had no idea, like, like I thought that I would, I thought the game was just easy, but then I found out, like, oh, shit, never mind, I'm just good at it, uh, yeah, like, I got, I got some compliments for it and everything, and, you know, I was playing on an emulator, too, so who knows, like, what I could do on a console. Maybe maybe I'll get the Castlevania world record one day. Because, you know, I, I had a few slip-ups here and there, but but overall, I was, uh, I was pretty safe, you know, you know. You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Anyways, that's uh, the first door in level 2 down. They're basically just worlds. You just call them levels in the Kirby games. The first one was the only one that didn't use that gimmick. But every game after that, uh, they, they kind of have just like worlds basically. And the worlds are levels. And uh, you just kind of travel through different doors and... Yeah, your different doors all the way up until the boss, and that's that's your quote unquote levels. But let's be honest, it's basically just like the same system that they use in like the Mario games with the worlds and all that. Of course, nobody cares though. Oh, shit, that guy's evil. I never would have guessed. Why would they place him there if he was, if he wasn't evil? You know? But, uh, yeah, Kirby's Dreamland 2, pretty boring. I noticed so far, because with my journey through the Kirby games so far, I have been noticing each one has, like, their own gimmick. Obviously, the first one is... The first one, but uh, y you know, this one has the gimmick with like the animals and all that, and then the uh, Kirby's Dream Land, Kirby's Dream Land 3, the gimmick is we're in color now, so then of course you have Nightmare in Dream or no, uh, Kirby's Adventure is up next, and you have the uh, gimmick with the uh, I don't, I don't really know what to be honest, but. Each Kirby game is kind of unique in their own way. Let's let's put it that way. Because obviously there's like the uh, fucking... I forget. Uh, y yeah, I forget. Oh, yeah. Uh, Star Allies. There's Star Allies, I think it's called. With like, like, like the four-player gimmick. Then you have the... Uh, like the free to play one on the 3DS and Wii U and and Switch I believe which its gimmick is just that it's all online and even the story mode is just online battles so I mean yeah every Kirby game has like something different to offer I feel like uh like when it, when you're playing through pl platformers Kirby is kind of a must, like, it's a must check out. You can't play all the platforms without, like, playing through Kirby, because Kirby just, it's different. And why is Kirby different? Because all the gimmicks. Alright, you're dead. And there we go. Woohoo! Can't believe I got like two lives already. 
it goes down so quick. But then the later levels, it actually gets surprisingly easier rather than harder, and it goes right back up. I actually did almost lose, like, a big chunk of my footage for this entire Let's Play, but I ended up keeping it. Because I found it in my recently deleted before it got removed from my iCloud. Which was absolutely amazing. Because I thought that I was going to have to like steal footage from YouTube or something. Or load up a backup file on my school iPad. Like I did with the Castlevania Let's Play when I lost footage for uh, World 5. I believe I also did that for the Zelda Minish Cap Let's Play. Because I lost some footage for the uh, Ice Temple thingy. Don't remember the exact name of it, but I know there was like an Ice Temple thing. And uh, I lost my footage for that, so... I ended up using some footage from YouTube. Which kind of sucks, because, you know, I'm trying to create a YouTube video for all of you guys, and... I gotta steal some other YouTube footage just so that my YouTube video turns out right. And that that's kind of, that kind of sucked. Thankfully, I did find all of my footage, though. And everything turned out okay. And you guys are watching my content, my playthrough. Anyways, here's the final boss. or I'm just, Not the final boss, you're the boss of the... Boss of the level. It's like a hedgehog, I want to say. Yeah, I want to say it's like a hedgehog, but I can't really tell. See what I mean when I say uh, I'm good at these platformers, y'all? I just have a natural talent for them. Of course, my controls weren't really working that well either. That kind of sucked. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. As soon as this little cutscene's over, I'm going to end the video. And, uh, yeah. Like I said, I'm going to let the cutscene for World 3 play first, I think. Alright, let's let this cutscene play. And here we go. Cute little fishy. Bobble, bobble, bobble. And yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode. Like, subscribe, all that crazy YouTube stuff, and bye.